GERD is an abbreviation for gastroesophageal reflux disease. And what that's describing is the stomach contents, the food that we eat that end up in your stomach mixed with the digestive juices, mainly stomach acid, reflux up into the esophagus, which is the food pipe between the back of your mouth and your stomach. And when people have more gastric or stomach reflux than the esophagus can handle, you start to get symptoms. Usually the symptom is heartburn. Once you have heartburn more than twice a week, almost every week, you're gonna be pretty miserable. That's a pretty bad case. That's unusually amount of gastroesophageal reflux disease. In order to be sure that you have gastroesophageal reflux disease, we really ought to measure the amount of stomach acid that is refluxing into the esophagus. So that's step number one, is to do a diagnostic test where we bring you to the endoscopy department in the hospital, give you some um, sedation, perform upper endoscopy, which means a scope with a light on the end of it that's flexible, goes down your throat into your stomach and takes a look. On the way out, after we've looked at everything and made sure that you haven't developed esophageal cancer or stomach cancer or anything like that, we leave behind what's called a Bravo probe. And this is a, a pill-sized pH or acid detection measuring monitor that attaches to the lining of your esophagus and it stays there for several days recording the acid exposure of your esophagus and it can tell us if you have a really high amount of esophageal acid exposure and if you have a really high amount of esophageal acid exposure well then we can then we know that we're going to pursue the therapy for GERD there is another option other than medications which is a laparoscopic surgery where we implant the Lynx device this is a chain of magnets that, uh, these are little pea-sized magnets that are um, implanted around the bottom of the esophagus to reinforce or augment or help the lower esophageal sphincter to stay closed. The real problem with gastroesophageal reflux disease is not that the stomach is making acid, the problem or the reason that people develop gastroesophageal reflux disease is because the barrier to reflux has failed or become too weak to keep the stomach acid down. So in surgery, we administer or give you general anesthesia and use little incisions to perform a laparoscopic hiatal hernia repair with this Lynx device. So we fix both of the barriers to reflux and in the recovery area, you no longer have gastroesophageal reflux disease. The night after this operation, the patients will have a nice supper. They might even have a snack before bed. They'll go lay down flat for the first time in a decade and they sleep all night without waking up with stomach contents in their mouths. And I think those are the patients that are the most appreciative. And we know from many studies that have been performed over the years that this effect lasts for a very long time, five years plus.